I'll start this off and uh, carry on talking about data ventures. So data ventures itself is really just a part of uh, Stats New Zealand and we want to take the best of that really for growing economic value. We've got a lot of great stuff and sometimes there's not always that front door to come to Stats to get access to that. Uh, it's that particularly small businesses want to get access to some IP. Um, there's the website, there's a lot of information, but there's not a front door for someone to go, hey, we know business, we're going to deal with you. The other part is it's an experiment. We're going to be trying and we've opened up early. So there's often there's been a bit of a Twitter uh, conversation. They're going, what, data, what is it doing? What is Data Adventure doing? Well, right now it's early. We're figuring a lot of that out, but we do have a good plan. And really a lot of it is around opening up this and keeping it open and keeping it transparent. So why does it exist? Stats, great at the critical decision making and, and official government statistics. Also, no lack of ideas. One of the things that was really identified was that statistics agency typically is the straight and narrow kind of approach. Well, naturally, there is a lot of people inside New Zealand with a number eight wire approach inside there with ideas and potentials. And it's not just inside, there's the people coming to us. And then that channel, if we can take that and harness it and help them, give them the priority, give them the resource, it wouldn't normally be there, it might be taken up by something else. We're able to create something and give them focus. So we take a different perspective. We're ultimately the same, we've got the same ethics, same approach, same principles. We will adjust those just for the audience, for the needs, for the nature. And ultimately the same thing is unleashing the power of data for New Zealand and creating economic value. And so that's where you find data ventures. What are we going to do? As I said, it's an experiment, we're figuring things out, but right now it's working with others. That's a big thing because we're not always the experts in product delivery and building businesses, building products. There's a part I bring, but the thing that Stats really brings is the knowledge of the data sets, the open data, what you can do with that, and potentially not necessarily the commercial nature, but help that commercial side through the partnership. So we'll do the partner model of bringing things together. It's a joint venture, not a typical client-supplier relationship. So a lot of times I get approached going, hey, we'll work with you, we'll give you a discount of rate, rate, uh, rate and we'll produce a product. Well, this time it's about working together, skin in the game, then releasing something together and, and achieving the benefits together. So a true partnership. Oops, ah, really important slide. What aren't we gonna do? And that's sell the data. Just to be really, really clear, and I know I need to make this obvious, it's not what we're after. There's a lot of open data out there that things can be done really well. And we see this as an opportunity to take our expertise to help the companies that are starting to do the stuff on top of this data and do that really, really well. So a unique and open approach. This is one of the things that uh, I enjoyed about joining government, coming from the private world, was my businesses were always trying to be transparent. They were always trying to be open. Naturally, you'd have shareholders that didn't want some of that stuff. Well, with this, you've got shareholders in New Zealand and the public. So this is a great environment for us. So what we're looking at is two really unique things for now. I'm sure there'll be more, but these are the ones I want to focus on. So every data source we acquire. So Data Ventures has already found a place where sometimes it's fronting government and all agencies behind it where we can acquire a data source, either commercially or non-commercially, and we can spread that to government to allow other, other agencies to access that. And equally what Stats brings is the expertise behind that when they don't have that. So straight away Data Ventures is able to help the acquisition, build something for somewhere for them to come and then also some people to work with. The other part is we're going to fail, and that is the thing that we're going to learn from. And what we're going to learn from that is we're going to publish that to the open world and public as well. So when we do something, everything, every single stage we've got is a gate, and every time we do that, we're going to release something before we try it and then after we try it. So the learnings are everywhere as well. And that creates an opportunity for what were we trying to do with the data, and maybe we weren't the right party, so then others can pick up off that and improve on it. So these are, this is our gates. So this is not amazing, unique magic. This is the thing you would have normally seen in the business world. So very clearly articulate your idea. If you don't do that, people don't understand the message. And then you take that typically through something like a lean canvas, a single page business case, figure it out, put it together and articulate it through to people who aren't part of your inner circle, who understand what you're trying to do and understand some of the values of why you're trying to do it. So we'll release that as well when we've completed it. Through the second one is the proof of concept. So naturally you've got to try and find product market fit. You've got to test if it's technically able. You've got to find out how big it's going to be through user stories and other agile approaches. Uh, what else? There's also the pricing. So how much it's going to cost, all those types of things. And then the third gate, which is essentially validating that first customer or first consumer, taking it from there and then releasing it and getting it future funded. 
So these are the outputs. So this is the thing that bank transparency. <laughs> I'm gonna hold myself to these. So these are the things we're outputting in each of these gates. So the first one is the client experience research, the user experience research. So everything we do, we will release. Lean Canvas as well, we'll be releasing that. There is an element of confidentiality in terms of privacy, and we'll make sure, obviously Stats has really good IP around that, and we'll make sure that we take out anything that's sensitive, but ideally you will find out what we're working on as soon as we know. Second, user stories, technical design, prototypes and wireframes, further detailed customer experience research, the pricing model, and then the research around what kind of partners you should work with to do this. So again, if we're not the right ones, we will tell you who you should work with. And then the third one is the product and service design, which is not typically known inside of government, and that's not a bad thing. It's just normally that's the other priorities and focuses. Well, we'll be bringing that, again, as, a, as an output, um, bringing the commercial mindset to how this thing could make money. We might not be the ones who do that, but we will open up to others who can. From there, there's the code and assets. So there's a joint venture nature. We've got some IP, shared IP we've got to consider. And we're really considering and working with things like Creative Commons and whatnot to figure out what's the best way to package it up and release it. And then from there, there's the relationship. So it's not going to be the commercials that were negotiated. It'll be the details, the principles, the values behind that because those things we can't open up. So really, again, transparent, open, what are we going to achieve? This is something that I really wanted to bring is these are the targets, these are the goals. So 10 beaches reaching the second gate, so it's a completed proof of concept. So we want to fund through these, through these 10 things and then open them up so others can take them. We do a lot of the hard work, that early work, that early stage work, which is really, really hard to get and often not people, people don't do. From there, we form 10 partnerships because everything's a joint venture. We want to make sure we find and identify the partners that will work with us and then they may be the ones that take it off and we just let it go. Whatever stage we involve, we will figure out very quickly the right and wrong place to get ourselves involved. And, and it might be just initially just the first stage and then giving them that access to a few things. The, pipelines, uh, the pipeline for the gates and the open uh, workflow. So again, we'll be releasing that through Twitter, through our blog, uh, constantly. So I encourage you to follow us. It will be coming out um, thick and fast in a, in a couple of months. And then a uh, big thing there is at any point where we believe we're not the right party and it doesn't work for us, but it might work for the partner, we will open that up, we'll package it up properly as an open source project, not just release it as a messy mess, and then put it together and then give it to others to be able to take off and support that. So if someone's got a query about it, we'll sit down, we'll work with them and push them through that. And another big part is there is a commercial but also a non-commercial aspect to this. And we really want to focus on that three to one ratio, so it's built into there, but eventually it'll change to a much lower ratio, ideally of two to one, then one to one. And we might find that commercial is not our thing, it's all about non-profit, non-commercial, social good, and that's fine too, and this is what the experience is about. That is Data Ventures. Thank you very much. <laughs>